Rumors of a digital locker from Google have been kicking around since the year 2006. Now, sources tell GigaOM, Google's cloud storage could finally show up in the wild next month. According to GigaOM's anonymous sources, Google Drive will debut sometime in the first week of April with a gigabyte of free space. The service will interface with other software and applications so they can use it to store and retrieve files automatically. Fandroid wonders if smooth integration will be enough to offset such a skimpy storage cap. Dropbox, for example, offers twice that right out of the gate. While the API support is interesting, it's not clear if it would be enough to draw people away from their favorite services to which they're already attached especially if Google is offering no more than one gigabyte of storage for free. And Softpedia says if that's the case, Google Drive could be dead on arrival. It will mean that the company with the largest web infrastructure in the world, with one of the biggest, if not the biggest, and certainly the oldest clouds out there, hasn't managed to come up with a way or a desire to offer users more than it did a decade ago. But CNET says given Google's product history, storage might not remain a bottleneck for long. If G Drive arrives in beta mode, like most other Google products do when they first launch, the one gigabyte offer might just be a starting point, and we could see a gradual increase in the free space allotments. Plus, Slashgear points out there's the convenience factor. How Google will compete with systems such as Dropbox is with their fully integrated system. You've already got a Gmail account. Why sign up for something extra when you've already got storage space here on Google? Especially when it looks so familiar. Android and Me posted a leaked screen grab back in February, and Google Drive looks just like Google Docs. It also appears users can install the software straight to their desktop, just like Dropbox. For the moment, though, users remain in the dark. GigaOM says Google declined to address the rumors or speculation. I'm Jim Flink for Newsy. Multiple sources, the real story.